A footpath to a small village in St. John's Trace, Faisabad is now only accessible by boat. This as the lone bridge linking dozens of residents to the rest of the community collapsed into the murky waters beneath it on Wednesday. About, let me say about half one last night, I heard a hard song while I was sleeping. It sounded like thunder and I, re I really didn't take it on. Soon, however, Junior Sukde would realize that what he in fact heard was the nightmare of residents crashing to reality. But this morning about four o'clock, I get up to go to work. By coming down the close to the bridge, I realized that the bridge was full. The bridge full. Back in May, CNC3 News visited the community where the residents expressed concerns over the strength of the 100-year-old bridge. Among those now marooned are children and the elderly in need of medical care. I'm a, a heart patient right now. I can't walk right now, really. I have pain all over my body. Vashti Premchan said a hole now exists where hope once was for the bridge to be rehabilitated. We've been asking for assistance to help repair the bridge before it had reached this point, and we haven't got any assistance. Thipara Mayor Dudnat Meru appealed for the urgent intervention of the relevant agencies to assist the affected residents. We are in the process of trying to fix an area where we can get a boat to bring them across the river, but we are calling on the relevant authorities the Ministry of Works and Transport and Rural Development to come together as a unit and make sure that something can happen. MP for the area Dr. Lakram Bodo said the matter should be treated as a disaster and that a temporary bridge be installed. When contacted, Minister of Rural Development and Local Government Faris Alwari said, following communication with the CEO of the Sipari Regional Corporation, there was no correspondence indicating that the bridge needed to be repaired. But he assured that steps will be taken to restore the infrastructure, which once stood on private land. I understand that an oil company owns the land, and so I've asked for a full report in relation to this. We've got to make sure that residents have um, proper access to facilities, etc. We now have to locate where that responsibility lies. In the meantime, the residents lament safety and security concerns. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News.